a vessel carrying more than 800 Haitians who were trying to reach the U.S. ended up at a coast in central Cuba instead. They appear to be the largest group of refugees who fled crisis-stricken Haiti to date. Red Cross officials in the province of Villa Clara said on Wednesday the 842 Haitians are now being housed at a tourist campground. The refugees arrived on Tuesday at Villa Blanca, about 300 kilometers of East Havana, and reportedly include 70 children and as well as 97 women. According to them, they called for help with light signals after being abandoned and cast adrift by their captain. Nosotros teníamos dos meses en el en la isla Tortuga esperando el viaje hasta que el viernes, el viernes pasado, el sábado pasado, a las 5 de la mañana, nosotros comenzamos a embarcar de una yola hacia el barco grande hasta las 10 de la mañana y a las 10 de la mañana nosotros cogimos el rumbo hacia hacia Miami. En el transcurso del viaje Hubieron más de 15 personas que se tiraron al mar porque no aguantaban el hambre, no aguantaban nada. Paul said he was traveling with uncle, his wife, and a baby at cost of $4,000 per person. The family said the captain forcibly separated them to small ship on early Tuesday after taking their cell phones away. Fortunately, they managed to draw the attention of coastal residents in Cuba by using a flashlight. While the number of migrants on the vessel seem unprecedented, the U.S. and several other nations have reported intercepting several boats carrying well over 100 Haitians in recent months. It's not unusual for winds and oceanic currents to carry Haitians to Cuba, which borders most of the sea lanes between Haiti and the U.S. Unfortunately, most of them are returned to Haiti by the Cuban government. A crumbling economy, spiking gang violence, and kidnappings have prompted thousands to flee Haiti in the past year. According to a human rights activist in Haiti, those who flee the country would rather take their chances in overcrowded boats rather than staying.